Uh, so tech companies are increasingly making privacy changes to achieve some of the same goals that you're, you're that you've set out to accomplish in your mm -hmm. legislation. For example, around the same time that you reintroduced your social media privacy protection and consumer rights act this past spring, uh, which was focused on empowering people to turn off data tracking, Apple then unveiled its own features to help iPhone users tell apps to stop tracking them. Where can more be accomplished by companies making privacy changes or by Congress passing privacy laws? I would say both, but you can't do uh, one without the other. But even if you have one company doing it, it doesn't mean the others will follow suit. Um, and so that's why having uh, one things that I like to say to the companies, for instance, when I was trying to get the Honest Ads Act, which they later supported but slowed down and have not yet passed for disclaimers and disclosures on political ads, I said, if you're willing to do it yourself, then why are you opposed to putting it into law? And I think part of it goes back to this Wild West theory that they can have control of the internet, that they are the ones that um, are the only ones that can dictate what happens on the internet. And it's, especially with tech companies, you see that philosophy much more than in other industries. So I would say, great, you're doing it, then let's at least put some minimum standards into law so everyone's privacy is protected.